or Gary Kohler is going to present tonight. Gary. Uh, good evening, everybody. Um, I don't have any PowerPoint presentations, so I'm going to just give you the information uh, as best I can. I'm going to go over a whole lot of things. I'm going to try to cover everything top to bottom. Uh, so if anybody has any questions, just please board them out. Don't, don't be afraid to ask. So I am going to start with the uh, East Broad Top situation. We just finished up our last negotiation with them. And uh, some exciting news. Uh, they are going to run the M1 uh, for us. If any of you guys follow the EBT, you know this thing only comes out a couple times a year. And so that, that's a pretty big deal for us. So I'm really, really excited about that situation. Uh, they are also going to do speeder putt-putt rides as far south as possible. Uh, right now, it's a mile or two south of, of uh, Rock Hill. So uh, if you've been following what they've been doing, uh, you know they've got a lot of track uh, put in you know, south of there. So that should be pretty exciting. And we were going to hold off announcing this news, but I'm sure I can share it with you guys. They are going to do two cab rides for us. And again, if you guys follow them, you know, they do not do that. Getting a cab ride over there is next to impossible. So we're going to get two cab rides. We're going to draw names from the hat. So two lucky guys are going to get cab rides on the 16. And so that's, that is really exciting for us to be able to offer that to you guys. If you have not registered for the EBT and you're putting this off, please don't. There are only two or three seats left and that's it. So if you're planning on doing that, please get that done. For those of you that are going, we are going to have a, a meeting on Monday evening. So we'll go over everything in detail, the bus situation, uh, what to expect, not to expect, how it's going to be done, the whole scheduling. Uh, so that'll be done Monday evening. Uh, before the tour on Tuesday. Um, vendor situation. I know a couple of you guys on here, or at least has been on here, are vendors. And if you have not gotten us all your information, vendor helper, vendor helpers, your address, because uh, a lot of you guys have not supplied that information. And I just went through it today. And so we do need that. We're definitely doing things differently. We're going to mail all the vendors their credentials early so they will be able to just show up and get unloaded and get their stuff taken care of and go have fun. You will not have to deal with check-in and registering and all that other stuff. So if you haven't done that, please get that taken care of. Otherwise, you'll be getting a letter and or emails from us. Um, there's three double sets of doors for you guys. So there'll be signage everywhere. You'll be able to just back up. We got a whole crew waiting there to help you. And so this has been a, be a real good situation. If you're looking for a table, don't hesitate. We just added a couple more and that's it. So otherwise we are completely sold out. We've had a couple of problems with people registering at the hotel. I don't know why it's pretty self-explanatory on the website, but you have to use the convention code, which is on the website. So you have to make sure that's that's in the, there's a place for it. Click update. It should take care of that. There shouldn't be any issues. And we've negotiated with the hotel to get a couple extra rooms. So if you've been, thinking you're not going to get a room at the hotel, uh, that's not the case. So you'll be able to do that. Model contest hours, we had a lot of questions about this. And our schedule is definitely going to be different. And we are going to uh, stagger the model contest hours for sure to allow everybody, including vendors and clinicians, to have an opportunity to get to the model contest Get there, vote, see the stuff, get your models registered, whatever you need to do. And we'll, that'll start on Monday. And Monday at noon, 
if you are a clinician, modular layout vendor, you will be able to start setting up Monday at noon. And it will be a couple hours uh, open on for the model podcast on Monday as well. Wednesday, we're changing the schedule uh, because of the situation with these broad talk. We've got hundreds of people already at the hotel. So we're going to start clinics early on Wednesday. So if you're coming in early, there will be something for you to do. You won't have to be sitting around out in the lobby. So there'll be clinics going on pretty much all morning, early afternoon. And we're going to have a, a, an evening get together on Wednesday. I don't think anything like this has ever been done before, but we're, we're gonna do that. Uh, so everything will be shut down at six o'clock and there'll be an hour break in there. And uh, Dean Melander is going to be our feature speaker about the East Broad Talk. So if you want to do that, you can. If you don't want to listen to Dean, you don't have to do that either. Uh, but there will be uh, hors d'oeuvres and some snacks there for everybody. Uh, there will be a cash bar. And uh, so you'll all be able to just enjoy the evening and hang out and talk train. Uh, the food situation, <laughs> for some reason, is... Uh, food, restaurant stuff continues to be uh, a discussion and, and an ongoing issue with these conventions. And uh, I want to assure everybody that the restaurant bar, there's a bistro there that's open about 18 hours a day. So they will be open, they will be staffed, and there will be people there. They're not shutting the place down. So if you want to be able to get something to eat, during the convention at any hour, you will be able to do that. And uh, certainly after hours that there will be more than one person at the bar. So if, if you guys want to do that, you won't have to worry about getting a drink or a sandwich or whatever you want to do. Thank you, Gary. If there